The disparity between hotels and Airbnbs could not be greater right now. You, you check into a hotel, they treat you like a god. They're like, anything you need, we, we got it. They're like, we even folded a, a hand towel to look like a swan on your pillow. You're like, oh my god, I feel so good. You check into an Airbnb, you're getting a... Thank you for booking this Airbnb. The house has six bedrooms and one bathroom. We did forget to install a toilet, but the neighbors said they're okay with you using theirs. When you get to the house, there's a lockbox with a key inside. In order to get this key, you will have to recite the alphabet backwards and in Spanish. If you don't know how to speak Spanish, you're stupid. Once you get inside, go straight to the kitchen and check in the sink. If there are any dishes in the sink, go ahead and start the dishwasher. You're already here, don't be lazy. Do this before you unpack. There are also free snacks in the kitchen, but if you eat any, you will be charged. No pets, no kids, and no parties. If you throw a party, the party will be invaded and everybody will be shot. No loud music after 7 p.m. If I get a single noise complaint, you will be charged a $3,000 noise complaint fee. Before you check out, take the sheets off your bed and start the laundry. And don't forget to take the trash out, stinky. If you have any questions, Okay.